Some people think that AI is creating these nice, beautiful images in big journey and sometimes not so beautiful images. And I think it's, it's not the case. As, as architects, we integrate different steps in the process. So it could happen early, it can happen late, it can happen at different stages. And we'll need to be able to articulate them. So we need to learn this new. Okay, great. Uh, it's really great to see you, Carlos. Uh, thank you so much for coming to Mumbai, India. Your lecture was incredible, very uh, inspiring. So can you briefly introduce yourself and tell us what is your work focused on? Well, I'm Carlos Bañón. I am a professor of architecture and sustainable design in Singapore. It's been 10 years since I moved to Singapore. And lately, I've been focusing in particular on the integration of AI in architecture. My background is in computational design, also have my practice in Spain and Singapore called Subarquitectura. And I try to merge the knowledge from practice, from the manufacturing of 3D printing and AI into a whole new way of doing architecture. That's incredible. So what is the role of computational design? And in this case, specifically AI, artificial intelligence, and the design workflow that you have? Yeah, I, I'm researching on that and I'm trying to experiment with different workflows. So what I try to do is to integrate the procedural design, let's say using tools like grasshopper processing, like the more of a coding, like as we know, with AI. So we can combine forces. The idea is that we can expand our procedural designs with generative designs. I think the combination of both is just, you know, I think it's a perfect fit. On the other hand, I also explore working with tools like Midjourney and Stable Diffusion as a way to create concepts of architecture that before was almost impossible or even not even able to produce. So I'm trying to, to find those gaps and opportunities by expanding uh, the use of those tools and create very innovative architectural concepts. For me, to have the vision to develop that uh, kind of new understanding of architecture, I think with these tools that we have right now, I think it's, uh, it's, it's a crucial, and for me, it's, um, it takes a lot of like, my, my time right now. Mm -hmm. Great. And you, in your lecture, you also mentioned that we're trying to find the new ways of architecture. Yes. The entire practice is uh, on the process of an evolution. Mm -hmm. So with the emergence of all these tools and technologies like computational and AI, what, where do you see the future of practice? I mean, it's changing uh, really fast for me. I mean, I already changed uh, because I'm considering myself an early adopter. So I, I basically, I put myself at the forefront. And, uh, but industry is not so fast, I would say. So it will, it will, it's going to change. Uh, and I think the role of architects will change as well with that. Definitely creativity and, um, and have people that are able to, to create those concepts with the new tools that we have, for me, are going to be very relevant. Mm -hmm. Things that are easy to be automated or be replaced by AI, then at some point we won't need to do it, right? So, so I think creativity is something that defines us as creative humans. I think that will bring the, the, what we will need, I would say, in architecture in the future. Also, I think the experience, the, the real world experience, I mean, you know, when you work as an architect for many years, you develop a certain intuition and sensitivity towards materiality, structures. I think that's also important. Uh, AI model yet is not possible to, to, to break it down into yeah. something. So I think that physical experience and the, what defines actually in our world would be even more crucial in the future. So new space for creativity as well. So there's a computational design, as I said before, as a new dimension, combining generative and procedural into, into a whole new like workflow. There will be new avenues, creativity. The thing is, potentially, some of the tasks that we do will disappear because it will be automated. Then people will need to readjust and adapt to, to, the, to the new landscape, right? So that's the transformation we're now heading towards. What kind of advice would you like to share with young professionals and emerging talents? I mean, when I, when I talk to students uh, around the world, I just came from Sao Paulo. I was amazing uh, working with the students. And they were at all different levels. They were like maybe year two, year three. They were also architects that are really, you know, well-known architects in, in, in Brazil and in the world. So it was great to, you know, to, to present to them this kind of new 
universe, like with the tools that, and I think they really got very engaged, really attracted to it, that they saw the potential, right? So for me, my advice to people that, you know, somehow don't know much about AI is that try to, 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 to know more about it because they know you more, the more excited you get and the less scared you are. People are scared because they don't know about AI. They, they don't really know the consequences of you applying that in the design. And misinformation, some people think that AI is creating these nice, beautiful images in the journey and sometimes not so beautiful images. And I think it's, it's not the case. As, as architects, we integrate different steps in the process. So it could happen early, it can happen late, it can happen at different stages. And we'll need to be able to articulate them. So we need to learn this new dialogue with AI and uh, advice always like, don't be scared about it. Try to learn, try to go deep, try to experiment. And, uh, and then you will feel probably that this uh, is a whole new space for creativity. Yeah, incredible. You have um, taught so many workshops on our platform and uh, we are so proud that you're sharing knowledge online, making it available for so many people as well. So my question is, what do you think about the conferences like this, NatCon, that are bringing people together to share knowledge uh, with, with the population, large not populations, so they can also understand these tools and they can use it? I think, I think that's a very important space that we need to actually contribute to. I think this space that we have right now in Atkan is, is open also to industry, it's open to, to different people involved in like visual design, urbanism, planning. So there are different layers and, and that's a, it's, a, it's a good way to, to, to put them together and to discuss and to talk about what is happening, right? Some people are not aware. And I think it's important, that not just the architects and designers, but everyone gets into it because in the end it's not a just one-sided thing we need to have like you know a whole ecosystem to really push kind of what we are actually heading to so i think it's very informative um it's actually a very good space for also for us to interact with different agents here involved in the construction so i think that also the physical event also is very important so having the chance to interact and to discuss also is a, is a, is a great opportunity for for everyone well, thank you so much, Carlos. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for coming, and it's good to see you in Mumbai. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> see you next time.